Welcome to our celebration of Dean College's 150th birthday. I'm Dr. Rob Lawson, Associate Professor of History, and simply put, I am proud to be the campus historian of this institution. As you can see from this beautiful, modern space around me, over the last 150 years, we've come a long way from our beginnings as a boarding school academy. And during those 150 years, we've had to overcome challenges and transform ourselves to become what we are today. Dean Academy was founded in 1865 by Dr. Oliver Dean, a Franklin native who had become a wealthy industrialist, most notably at the Amiskeag Mills in Manchester, New Hampshire. Upon retirement, Dean founded the Academy, a universalist institution to educate young men and women from this community and far beyond. With the support of prominent Franklin families such as the Rays and Thayers, Dean Academy flourished, particularly under the leadership of Arthur W. Pierce, or known affectionately as Oppie, the headmaster from the 1890s to the 1930s. It was during that illustrious career of Oppie Pierce that the Academy developed some of its most cherished traditions and established a strong reputation as a place of academic excellence as well as giving wonderful student life and residential experiences for the students who came here. Overcoming challenges such as the terrible Dean Hall fire of the 1870s and the hurricane of 1938, World War II came with another wind of change. And just as Dean Academy had been founded during the transformative time of the Civil War, the next major change in Dean's history took place in this, the Second World War. And that was due to the leadership of Earl Sessions Wallace, himself a Dean graduate who came back from California with the vision of a junior college. And it was during World War II that Dean became a junior college as well as an academy. And those two institutions lived side by side for the next 15 or so years into the late 1950s. As a junior college, things changed a lot here at Dean. Students no longer were living exclusively in Dean Hall, but in many of the residences around campus that Dean had acquired through the 1940s and 50s. And then in the 60s, with the arrival of the baby boom onto college campuses throughout the United States, Dean transformed once again, going through a major building program in which they created both academic and residential buildings throughout the 1960s. One of the most remarkable parts of the Dean story has been its ability to survive the trials of the years. And the late 1980s and early 90s found Dean in a difficult spot where they needed new invigoration and new strength and leadership. That was provided by Dr. Paula M. Rooney, who's been the president of Dean College for the last 20 years. Under Dr. Rooney's leadership, we've experienced tremendous growth, beginning with new buildings and facilities, such as our dining center and the main stage that are right here. We've also developed our faculty and grown the curriculum, beginning with the Bachelors of Dance in 2000, and then that was followed by arts management, theater, and more. We've always attracted students from around the world to our campus, and now we can serve students around the world with our business degree, which is offered online. So as you know, from our early days as an academy in the quiet neighborhood of Franklin, to today, a college with a global following, this 150 year period has been one of great transformation and growth and we're looking forward to the next century and a half.